So there's two ways how to perform our um, SOAS sign. Now for the first um, SOAS sign maneuver, let me press your right knee chop and you lift your um, right leg against against my um, right hand pressing on your right knee. Can you do that please? Can you can you lift up your leg? Lift up your leg? No, no. Just lift it up. Okay. Do you feel any pain? Assuming that um, if he does not feel any pain, again, he doesn't have any appendix at all. So if he has um, no pain at all, then it's negative for I mean, negative for SOA sign. If there's any um, pain elicited from that maneuver, then uh, that's a positive SOA sign. For the next maneuver, um, please roll to the left side, chop. Okay. And now um, I will extend the right leg at the hip. Flexion of the leg at the hip makes it psoas muscle contract, making the psoas muscle contract. And um, extension stretches it. Do you feel any pain? Okay. So increased abdominal pain is uh, positive for psoas signs, suggesting irritation of the psoas muscle by an inflamed uh, appendix. So that is our psoas sign. Now please. Uh, Lay again on your back there on your supine position with the hands on the uh, both sides. We will perform the obturator uh, obturator sign, another special technique to assess your appendicitis. For the obturator sign, um, I'll be flexing the patient's right thigh at the hip, so please with the knee bent, and I'll rotate the leg internally at the hip. So this maneuver stretches the internal obturator muscle. Do you feel any pain? No. Okay. So that is negative for obturator sign. Right hypogastric pain is positive for obturator sign from the irritation of the obturator muscle by an inflamed appendix. So this sign has a very low sensitivity. 